Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories, lifestyle gist, celebrity gossip, showbiz, and so much more. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Beniak. Hello. How you doing? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You are also waiting for... It's a, it's a story. You look, you look sleepy. That's just, uh, just what I, I want to say. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do. You look kind of sleepy, like, you know. I'll be getting enough soon, but in like uh, yeah, after the, the well, day that, that doesn't sound like soon. she'll be getting Lagos enough soon. Lagos traffic will get you enough now. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You just said I'll be getting enough soon. Maybe. Yeah, I'll be getting enough, enough soon. Enough sleep soon. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. So yeah. moving on to the guy we discussed yesterday, DJ Timmy, I think I don't know, but he's apologizing to Aporo for insulting his wife. So three years ago, DJ Timmy took to social media alleging that the comedian's wife was a sex slave before they got married and that she had five abortions for a dancer known as PD. This was um, a reaction to a joke by Aporo centered around the young sis. Now, taken to Instagram, the DJ said, and I quote, I want to use this medium to tender my reserved apology to Aporo and his family. I have always wanted to do this, but I never had the chance to. I was young, stupid, and blindly loyal. That is um, why I was fighting under man's battle. I thought doing that was a sign of loyalty, but I was just plain stupid. Mm. Let it be on record that all through my stay in Leeds City University, I never met your wife, and everything I said back then was a big lie. I hope this episode will teach others a lesson that karma is real. Um, allow people fight their battles and stop with the blind loyalty. I'm your big fan and will continue to be a fan. May God lift and uphold you now and forever. Amen. End of quote. Personally, do you want me to go first? Yeah. I think he's still stupid. <laughs> I, I think he's still silly. Um, so even if you're being loyal to someone, does that mean you should hook up things mm -hmm. that were not real? Is that what blind loyalty mm -hmm. is all about? I, I, I don't understand. That's yeah. taking blind loyalty out of context. And um, um, the good, it, it's good that Aporo did not try to sue because I'm guessing he would have uh, made some money right. or this situation he's in now, he would have been in it way faster. Yeah. So I, I don't understand where this guy is coming from. I think he needs help. I think um, his friends should reach out to him because he's seeing a lot of things that are just not making sense. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think he needs help. I think my biggest worry is that he sounds like he's, you know, doing some interest. But I always get worried about that when someone looks like they're getting, they are going through an introspection and they're examining themselves. And you still come up with rubbish. It's like, ah. Not sure. I don't know. <laughs> How do we help you with this case? Um, I, I'm loyal to my friends, but I don't fight their battles. I support them Even in their battles. Even if you have battles. to fight their battles or support their battles, do you have to bring lies exactly. into the picture? It doesn't make any sense. And I think that, that that has nothing to do with loyalty, but who he is as a person. Um, it, it's also very tacky. I think, I wish I, didn't, I wish he didn't say that, because for me, any man that has to insult a woman and go straight into you know, sexualizing the person, it's just kind of sick to me. Um, so he, his apology was good and thoughtful, but I don't think it really hit the nail on the head for me. Like, take ownership. Any apology that you're doing that He's has... He's still blaming young sis for Exactly, that has a but and a, like, pointing figure thing. He, young sis did not put a gun to your head to, to, to ask you to say all that. So apologize for being the... I don't know if that word is allowed on TV. For being, you know, a bad person. Just mm. apologize for that and move on. No need to tell us where you were. You're like, just apologize. Um, you just said it rightly. All I see is somebody, again, who is still blaming somebody for his own personal mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, and do I feel, do I feel taken by his, by his apology to Abuelo? No, I don't. I see someone who's trying to cloud chase here. Um, Young Sik just said yesterday that he's, he's a hype man. And he would do anything for clout. I'm beginning He's to see that. Yes. Upper, upper that right yeah, now. you know. Okay. So I'm, I'm beginning to see somebody really. Um, it, I think it's strategic. He's trying to achieve something with all of this. Mm. You, you don't. You don't have to drag the youngsters into this. He didn't. He didn't put you up to it. You responded yeah. to it. I remember that episode clearly. Apollo made a joke of Young Six's career and said he said of um, Young Six to focus on making heat in his career. He's busy in spending the club, money in spending club. money, popping champagne. Young Six never said a word that season, but mm. he did. I remember this DJ responded on behalf of Young Six, you know. And so if you feel you've, you've fallen out with um, Young Six, like he said in the audio that he's been trying to reach him and he's not giving an audience because he feels 
he wants him to own up to some of the mistakes he's made for himself. He's still making more mistakes. Yeah. You know, so this is not going to put you in good light in Akpuru or any other better person that you're going to come up because what you're trying to do is, you know, paint at the same time young scenes bad mm -hmm. and let him feel that, you know what, I didn't do this on my own. He put me up so to this. So everything he's done you know, in his lifetime is it's somebody about that's young sis. Like, who's and so, making you do And then I'm sorry, now? then you have, you have young sis thankful for, 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 for your life. I mean, which means without young sis, we wouldn't, wouldn't even know your name. Nobody mm. would hear about you. So don't forget that part. You don't, you don't bite the fingers of fed you. And then also right? when he said he had never gotten the opportunity to apologize. Which like, is so untrue. It's weird to me. Like, how long has social media been in the in the work? He, like, he did the do on social media. Exactly. So. Why didn't you just text again to say that I'm sorry that you've never, you wanted to do this for a long time. Oh, God, God. Exactly. The same when you sat behind your credit key parts and blah, blah, blah. Just put it out there. You didn't have to wait for this long. Just like how many years after? You know, so yes. he's because it feels like he's more sorry. He, he's all of a sudden sorry now because then he has something else to pin on um, um, young, young six, six rather than actually just like you know realizing like okay this is awful. I'm really sorry for doing that. Full stop. But you have to drag somebody down. You have to yeah. make excuses for yourself and then put butts and maybe it's like just don't apologize. It doesn't cut it for me. What's his name again? DJ Timmy. Please take care of yourself. Moving on to the next story. <laughs> Um, Adetoke and um, Etel are mm. uh, in a legal tussle. So this story started from way back in 2016. Yeah. And um, so according to her, she there was an unauthorized um, illegal SIM swap on her SIM in February 26, which made her lose, I think, about 400,000 naira from her account. And um, she went to the, the head office at Banana Island and they admitted yeah. saying that they were sorry and that they were going to refund the money. But of course, they did Never not did. refund the money until they went to court. And I remember when she was rejoicing last year that she had won this case and they were supposed to pay her... 1M. Uh, it was a complete 1M. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that was supposed to be done before on the end of, uh, by the end of December 2019. Until now, they have not made that payment. And she's saying they're now going to the high court. I'm a Airtel user, and <laughs> <laughs> just start like that. So, because I deal with them on a daily, I don't see them as a struggling network. I don't see them as a, a people that lack numbers. Um, they have so many plans, uh, like data plans that people use. A lot of people. No, of use. course, Airtel is not broke. So the idea <laughs> to me that you couldn't give somebody four hundred thousand naira last year, you can't give them one million naira now is ridiculous. I don't know if this is negligence, that they just don't have anyone who is on this matter for them, mm -hmm. or they're actually just being stingy and don't want to actually let, it, let the money go. It's hard to really tell which one it is, but either way, it is the height of irresponsibility. Like, we're talking about a multi-million dollar company. Like, it's not even a Nigerian-owned thing. Why would you want to be dragged on social media for a petty thing like one millionaire. Like, I don't understand it. And I'm glad she has, you know, wh when I read the story, the first thing I thought about was like, thank God this is a pri like a privileged person. You could tell that she was privileged. First of all, you have 400K in your account that you can't even just still shake off and like she didn't even notice it on time. Mm -hmm. That's one. Secondly, she's educated and she knows her rights. So that's like a lot of privilege yeah. in one. And I'm just thinking like, what if this was somebody else? Like, why would you not just be able to do what is right on your own? It's, it's, it's amazing to me. Yeah, I'm going to start first. You ladies say you're not sure if Airtel is broke. We, we, don't, we don't have their books, but I'll say for this, for every time the company has had to change its name in Nigeria since they came into operation, um, every of their subscribers by now should be, should be getting data and top up for free. You know? And so I really don't know about their financial stance. Mm. It, it is what it is you know, publicly. Now, I want to come from this angle about People who operate within the Nigerian business space, not taking responsibilities for what they should take responsibilities for. And um, this is just one-off. We don't know how many people have fallen victims to such situations, yes. mm -hmm. but because they're not as maybe knowledgeable or privileged like she is, and the the um, the use of social media to to press for our case, many people are keeping quiet. There are times also you just see um, many of us have color tunes we, we didn't subscribe to. And you're getting only um, deduction for something you didn't subscribe to. Many networks do that, including my own network, Nine Mobile. You guys do that. Mm. I mean, people will call me and tell me, 
why is that your why is that your ringtone? Like what ringtone? I'm like I never paid for that. At the end of the month, you get a 15 hour deduction for something you didn't pay for. These are part of the responsibilities of um, most of these service providers. And I blame the um, the was the the, 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 um, the national um, what's the name now? NCC. The NCC for this. Our, if the regulators are doing what they're meant to be doing, many Nigerians by now will be will be rich for every case they have to press for to call mm. for what the network providers do to them. You know, um, like you right, rightly said, it's quite a shame that. Etta has been dragged into the, the, the social space and is for some as flimsy as a medium box in comparison to who well, we think they mm. are, you know. And so uh, th this should be, this should, this should be a, an eye-opener to many people who might find themselves in this kind of similar situation, not to keep quiet. We should start holding these people responsible. They're making money from us. They're pretty within the business space. We don't know so much about how much community service they're doing. In, um, in the same community where they're making their money from, mm. and which was part of the big problem with the Niger Delta. I mean, there, were, there was all exploration going on and the, the community was not better for it. Mm. And so if you're using our, our space to make money, make, way, make that community better for what it is, for all of I the mean, gains you you're MTN getting from it. I mean, even does, I feel like MTN and SRM, social um, responsibilities. Yeah, corporate social responsibilities. Yes, yeah, CSR are, the, I feel like they're one of the companies that do do really well with that. Um, I don't really see Etel doing that, to be very honest. Like, I've never seen them do any promo, anything. Well, I think um, MTN is quite big on that. But I, this whole thing with Etel, it's, it's a case of lawlessness and knowing that you are in a corrupt environment. Yes. Because yeah. if you were That's in a, a country... Taking advantage of that, you're mm, right. That is not Nigeria, they would have made this payment yeah. way back but in their head they're like what will happen so whoever is supposed to sign off and sign off and the money of course the corporate organization the SCC, it's not like one the person SCC, is amazing the so SCC they just look at it and say um, of course they won't there are so many cases in, in court about um so many um, network providers but they try to take it off the media because they know that once it gets to the media people will begin to understand that this is a way of making money and yeah. they are always in the wrong so they yeah. will keep paying so i think they should really act right make these payments and but they said they are going to the high court. I don't know why you would want to do that. Mm -hmm. Is it hoping mm -hmm. that she won't have enough money to keep pursuing the case and letting it go? And knowing that they took her that we know and I we saw might, on this so that, show, that is supposed to scare she is her. not I mean, letting go. Exactly. Yeah. So that's supposed to scare her. Make her like, you know, okay, I don't want to go to high court. Mm -hmm. let, me just, let me just keep quiet. Your responsibility. It's human being that is in high court. So we'll reach there. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time Plus TV Africa. So there was an exchange on social media between a Screenwriter, I think that's what I'll call Umo, the and then um, Rita Dominic. Um, she questions the filmmaker over calling against sex. So, yeah, you have it on the screen. Learn to stay with without sex. Okay, learn to stay without sex. That's what he said. Very simple. And Rita Dominic says, Why? So, we're probably waiting for him to respond yeah, to that. Girl, when you get the answer, please just let us know uh -huh. what the reason is. Well, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong in what he said. I mean, learning to stay away from sex is, is nobody's business. Why? Exactly. <laughs> no, I also want to ask, why? I mean, I don't get it. Like, why is it, um, am I... It's like saying learn to stay away from food. I don't get like, it. Like, uh -uh. Learn to, yeah. Am I, like an, am I taking an oath to send a basic? Am I... That's, am I... That's, that's deep. Do you know how many times I eat a day? <laughs> no, but the question begs, why? Am I, did yeah. I take an oath to send a basic? Because am I becoming even, a monk? I mean... Because even with food, like, some people tell you that you need to stay away from it. Even if it's that mm. you need to... You, cut what down or whatever yeah, well you know that so there must when, be a reason i feel like when you want to um 
that's for those that want to build a relationship, right? When you want to build something with someone, it's, it's nice to sometimes oh, take God. the sex away. Oh, God. It's a cliche. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that mindset It's a cliche. It doesn't work. Yeah, I, so it doesn't work. I also have another mindset that says, you know what, do it today. So you know if you are still yeah. with me or not. The, the idea that, um, you know, this is one thing where I, I get offended from men. They make sex look like... It is like a button that you can use to control me. Like, if you don't give him sex, do this. Like, except you're dating an animal who is a nym nympho. Yeah. You have, like, that shouldn't work on any decent, exactly. grown, yeah. mature man. Like, and the idea that it's not, I see it as very transactional. Like, I don't think it's a man's thing or a woman's thing. Like, you can also do. Yeah, like, yeah. You sh the way I can use sex for a man is the same way you can use it for me. Like, I don't want to be deprived. I don't want, I, I don't want to be unsatisfied and all that stuff. Just the same for, for a man. So the, the idea that you need to, like, deprive yourself from sex, I need to know the reason why. I'm, I'm guessing it's either religious values, which could be debunked very quickly, because first of all, not everyone is religious. Secondly, not because I'm religious doesn't mean the that I believe in said, that. Learn to stay away. And I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to chunk the question why? out as to why, why, why you tell us, would say that. Is, is it that? Is it a hygiene yeah, reason? Is I it mean, a social reason? A spiritual reason? Is it an economical reason? Like, <laughs> you know. Economical <laughs> works, you know, please. And then, I mean, who, who, who not made him a compass I mean, for all of those parameters so to tell us to. So you need to Dominic on yes. Yes. Why? We, we, please, why? We want to know. know. <laughs> we really want to know. I mean, I'll learn to stay away from sex. It's not food. No, I'll say learn to mind your business then. I mean, it's don't give us all the seated advice. I mean, it's not, any, it's not like as if no. No, and you can do without it. But yeah. for some, I, I can do without it. But, but if somebody didn't ask me. There are people who say they cannot do without sex. I feel like you, you know, It's just like problem. people say they can't do without beer. Ah. Uh, hmm. That comparison is I'm very just weird. But do you agree that there are people who say they can't do without sex? That they can't do without sex? Yes. If I agree? Of course, yes. Is that normal? <laughs> mm, that's a that, problem. That's, no, it's not a problem. Why is it a problem? Why? Anything that you can't do without is a problem. No, that's I, an well, addiction. I, not necessarily. Is it like literally can't do is without? Is it you cannot do without I it? So, so like, like if we were to quantify, put numbers oh, to it, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. how, how many times in a day? Like, like, I mean, like Daily. Thank you. <laughs> like daily? Mm -hmm. Is it healthy? Is it harmful? Is it a problem to not be able to? Well, maybe are you saying, are you are you referring to name for mate um, name for? It's a simple question, Benny. Yes, please. What's <laughs> it it, it's simple. Is it a problem if somebody cannot do a day without sex? That's what I'm asking. It depends. We say it's a problem. How is do it we... a problem? I don't think so. Okay, okay, cool. Ah. Moving on real quick See, to more <laughs> very pressing, important <laughs> issues. Northern Ireland um, cinema chain Omniplex is um, introducing a seat separation policy in response to coronavirus. The policy implies that every second seat will be left unoccupied. Hmm. I guess that's cool. That was but what if I go with my boo or my friend, like we know each other, we know we don't have corona, <laughs> would you still mandate us to? Yeah, I think so. I think they will. Maybe, they maybe, will? Maybe, maybe, yeah. you sign, maybe you sign, um, what's the word? What's that? But you need to sign something to say, you know what it means, I just you know, to, yeah. to sit together. I mean, so um, mm. a consent, a consent letter to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, having no fun is becoming a big deal. But it is, it's, it's to let you know how people care about, um, the, the the health of, of the public. Uh, I because think they like be... I think they like the money more than the health of the public. If they really like but the health of the public, they'll they shouldn't shut it be down? sitting there at uh, all. Uh, they'll shut it yes, down. Yes, because it's not just about sitting. But it's a, they're it's gonna a touch the same measure, door knob, you know, they're gonna touch the railing. I wish I've seen about the same Which is why, which is why you need to use um, your hand sanitizer. And then when I have hand sanitize, yeah. then I cough. And don't touch your face, which is the most important part of this conversation. Okay, I cough by mistake and then the person Why would you cough by mistake and one of the tips is also cover your mouth while you're because coffee. they give you coffee. tips doesn't mean it's gonna happen the minute you so are you're saying we should shut down our lives I'm, now no i'm saying that if they are trying to tame this thing mm -hmm. yeah. this is not a good way no, they, to do they it have tried. they this, need to make money at the end of the day so that's what i'm, I'm this saying this to that it isn't about the health that they're putting first the world is coming to an end then i guess because we're about to shut down everything i mean they shut down the whole country like it's a big deal Mm. Wow. You know, we've heard that 2020 is the end of the world. Oh, like, let's start giving our lives. To, no, it's 2020. Oh, there was even a movie, 2020, mm. was it? No, it was 2000. It, it was 2000. 2000. Yeah, the the beginning of the new millennium. Yeah. I, mean. mm. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <sighs>
Right? Just as it came, it's going to go. I, mm. I, I well, guess. please take care of yourself. Don't touch your face. Use, yeah. Wash your hands at least for 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Use hand sanitizers and um, be good. You will, will survive. At least Nigerians are in the oven. So <laughs> <laughs> our weather is hot enough. Okay, moving on. Billie Eilish tackles body shaming. She delivered a powerful message about body shaming at, as she kicked um, off her world tour in Miami on Monday night. A two minute video was played towards the end of her 22. Um, song set immediately before the song All the Good Girls Go to Hell. She was seen removing several layers of clothing until she was only wearing a bra before sinking symbolically under the surface of a black tar like liquid. At the end of the clip, she warned against making assumptions about people based on their body size. Okay. Uh, I love Billie Eilish. I think her voice is so unique and I've seen her interviews as well. For such a young person, she has so much depth. Mm. Like, I, I, I don't know how she was raised, what she was exposed to, but it amuses me every time. With this body shaming thing, it's been very common. From the first time she went on screen, that's what we noticed, that she was always, always in baggy clothes. And she's always, it's, I think it's a very good way to tackle body shaming. Like, if you can't see my body, then, like, you know, you don't really have to address me on that. Especially being a female in the music industry, that, like, <coughs> comes hand in hand. People would listen to your a rapper based on who has the biggest butt if they had to like pick one or two. So it is an important thing. Now this video for me was iconic. Like I feel like it should be registered somewhere that we never forget because the symbol it made, the person that was delivering this this symbol. I think this is. I know I'm dropping over, but I'll, I'll finish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing that um, Beyonce was trying to achieve with pretty pretty. Pretty Hurts, that song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I had a problem with that song because I feel like, yeah, Beyonce might have truly had her um, issues, but she wasn't the best person to deliver that because she's still one of the most hottest people on the planet. Now we have somebody who so is... Billy isn't hot. Billy uh, isn't because, a... Because um, so Billy has a wonderful body shape. Well, how have you seen it? She, yeah. This is the first time we're seeing just her no. boobs. You can't even say that. What I'm trying to say is Billy mm. is not... Um, Socially, the, 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 sex the, the no, she's not the um, standard. She's not the look. Like, for white people, there's a standard. There's the thin, blonde, pretty face. She's, she doesn't look anything like that. She, if anything, she tries to look, make herself look a lot more less attractive with the hair color and all and of that's that stuff. Isn't I it? hear that's you, but I, mean, um, yes. I don't like when people come out to fight for a cause and then the reaction to it is you're not the right person to fight for that cause. I, I, mean, I, th I think it's important. It's, you no, can't, it's, it's not, like a straight person being the being the forefront of an LGBT community. What is wrong with that? Yes. I, I don't think you are the best. Are you the wrong person? No. Are you the best person? I don't think so. Mm. How can you fight for somebody? How can we begin to you be know, I don't united? Think. Really? I don't, I don't you can't be united, think. but really? must you take the brunt? always... How can you fight for something that you've never worked in their shoes before? Like, yeah, you cannot be the I best person like, to represent I mean, that. Um, this is what I feel right. I don't think Billy... Billy it, I think it's deliberate every time she covers up herself when of she comes course. on stage. And it doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't have a good shape. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it could just be, you know, when I wanted to appreciate me for my art and I would not be that sexualized. That is what she's saying. Yeah. That is what I would she's not saying. be Sorry, sexualized. Sorry, from I'm, what he's that's saying what now, saying. it doesn't mean she doesn't have a good shape. Yes. The no. fact that she's not showing us the good shape does yeah. not mean she does not have it. So let's yeah. assume she has a good shape. Yeah. It means that she also has not walked the shoe you're talking about. So it doesn't make her the right person because she already has, she decided to create a persona okay, okay. that fits Okay, that okay that let's be real, yes. okay? We cannot see her body size, but she's not a size zero, okay? Okay, no, that's she's, clear. No, she's not. She, and I'm talking about the media beauty standard. Is mm. it size zero with thin nose, pink lips, blonde? So I don't understand what we're talking yeah. about. I'm not saying she's not fine and she's not attractive. No, no, she, Every that woman was not is, the argument. But I'm the saying that, that Ben and Billy is the right person to. And that's just my personal it. opinion. I think Beyonce is too beautiful and too. Mm. That somebody who is out there, who is fat figured, yeah, but, who but gets, is, it, who is, gets is that, bashed, that, will look at Beyonce yeah, and be like, I relate to you. But isn't that more reason why people would take her seriously? because they know, okay, hey, they, they, they perceive it to be this. And have you <laughs> forgotten yeah. that Beyonce actually goes through a lot of serious routine? Oh my gosh, don't take me, to don't, remain don't take this out of Beyonce. context. I'm not saying that Beyonce doesn't have struggles. I'm just saying, personally, that, not, that Billie Eilish did it more. Person. If I was sitting behind the TV with serious body issues, I'm not going to look at Beyonce and be like, she gets me. For goodness sake, really. Okay, I get where you're coming from now, but this is for me, right? I think people, it's, it's quite unfortunate, like, um, there's a way they mold, there's there's a label, there's a definition of what beauty should look like, and mm -hmm. it's it's the media, it's entertainment, what they've made people to perceive beauty to be. And unfortunately, many of us are pressed forward in, in negative improvement, and, you know, if I don't look a certain way, 
I'm not going to be appreciated. I think only very few people that begin to stand and say, you know what, this is who I am. If you're going to go appreciate me for my skin, from the freckles of my face, the way I look, my, my snake hips without the curves, then that, that is on you. I think people should begin to own their beauty, begin to embrace it and celebrate it. And that's obviously I'm going to appreciate this music group, um, Daft Punk. Right. Who men don't of, have a face. Many of us today don't know who they, who they mm. are. You know, because, and that was deliberate. I appreciate my art. I appreciate my music. I don't mm. want to be seen. You know, but unfortunately, the, the world we live in, media has made us sexualize everything. If it's not sexualized, um, then it's not working. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's up to humans to begin to, let's begin to change the narrative. Mm. And, and be, Billy, Billy standing up for that, and I must commend her for that. And I just wish more people and more women will also rise up and, Start speaking up for things like this. We do have to also know. acknowledge, though, that there is a lot of privilege with Billy. I don't think everyone... Today, we're getting there, but I don't think everyone can pull that off necessarily. In the music industry, especially for women, especially being a white woman, the struggle is very different. A good example of somebody that is of color that's doing a good job as well for me is... What's her name? Oh? Um, the fat girl that raps. She just sang with... A uh, black girl? Yes. Um, she had the tiny bag. She was really trending for that tiny little bag that I she carried. I remember the tiny bag, but I can't remember who you're talking yeah, about. Um, so we need to go, okay, though. Okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, but um, like you said, you need to embrace the oh, yeah. uniqueness of your beauty. That's the most important thing I'm taking away from all this drama. All right, thank you for watching. And um, this is where we draw the curtains. You can catch up this conversation um, by visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Benny Ak and Ife Omai and the entire production team. My name is Osigo. Doing saying thank you for watching and see you later.